welcome back to the channel uh, so this week I'm going to talk a bit about Cleo um, and her kissing spine journey so my plan is to put a few videos from when I first got her in um, and then the progress that we made and then I do actually have a few videos that I've sent to the vets um, showing what happened when she was ridden um, and why I thought that she had a problem and then I will let you know how her rehab is going. So the plan going forward is um, another whole week of the 30 minutes walking twice a day um, and I'll carry on hand grazing her and then from week four she can go back in the field for a short period of time so I'll split her field up make it nice and small so she can't run around. I don't actually think she will because as you can see she's really greedy. <laughs> then the rehab progresses so we start lunging her and adding in some poles, Justin walk to start with, um, and then it gets up to doing trot work as well. But what I'll do is I'll make another video for that lot of rehab, and then I'll make another video for when I get back on her. So according to the plan, I can get on after sort of eight weeks. Um, I probably won't, I'll probably wait a little bit longer and just do more strengthening work. Uh, just because I want it all to go right and I'm in no rush at all. She's only six, so fingers crossed we've got loads of time and we can get her back to where she was. I forgot to mention, um, alongside the in-hand and lunging rehab, we've got quite an intense stretching programme. So I do that twice a day, every single day, um, and I'll continue doing that for the whole time over the rehab. And then I'll also continue doing that at least three times a week just to keep that back and core strength up uh, to give her the best chance of full success. I'll just show you her stitches. So these are two weeks old tomorrow. Um, they're actually coming out tomorrow as well. So that's really cool. They look really good. They haven't really swelled much at all. There's been no issues whatsoever, um, bar a few fly bites, but there's not much I can do about that. But overall, she's doing really well. So this first video was taken in about October last year. So she would have been backed for about five months here. So as we watch this video, um, just pay attention to the way she moves. So she looks quite relaxed and happy. She's got loads of flexion. Her back's moving. Um, she's still quite weak, so she's not holding a, a very consistent outline um, she still moves about but she is using herself properly and moving quite nicely she looks quite happy um, her tail's nice and still her ears are forward and she's moving and really paying attention here we have cleo's first ever jump under saddle and she's nice and happy Fast forward to January, one of our first jumping lessons. She looks pretty good, but if you pay attention, you'll see she's swishing her tail quite a bit and she just looks a little bit uncomfy. So this is when I first noticed that we might have a problem. This video is a few weeks later. Um, so in between this and the last video, we had our saddle fitted, which was tweaked. Um, and I thought that helped for a few days, but unfortunately it didn't. Uh, and then she deteriorated quite rapidly and she just physically couldn't canter. She was still quite happy to hack out. Um, she was forward going, but as soon as she entered the arena, there was clearly something wrong. So this is when I decided to go ahead and get the vet and have her back x-rayed. Again, this video is a few weeks on. Uh, so the vet had come out, taken the x-rays, we'd seen one suspicious vertebrae on the x-ray but nothing bad at all so we decided to go ahead with a butte trial um, so at this point she is on the butte and again she looks loads better obviously we've found the canter she still doesn't look a hundred percent but she was only on two butte a day here um, but that just really confirmed that there was definitely something wrong so unfortunately a few weeks after this video was taken uh, we were hit with the COVID-19 virus and there was no way Cleo could go into the vets. Everything was put on hold. So I did continue to work her really lightly. Um, I just long reined her and lunged her to start with. But you could see her getting increasingly uncomfortable. Um, so eventually I had to stop that and she was turned out 
in the field for most of the day and just brought in when it was hot, etc. So this video is really uncomfortable to watch. Straight away you can see how stiff she looks. She looks so uncomfortable and she can't physically canter. Uh, the only reason she was ridden is to take this video for the vets at the RVC to see just how bad she was. Um, so this was the end of July and she was booked in for the surgery on the 3rd of August based off of this and the x-ray. And she also had a bone scan as well just to confirm that there was nothing else wrong. So she looks utterly miserable, poor little pony. And here I am picking Cleo up after her operation. So it transpired that between January and August when she had the op, uh, the kissing spine had got a lot worse. So she had the ligament snipped in between four processes. The operation went really well um, and the surgeon was really happy with everything, how she came round and how she reacted afterwards. So here we are taking her home. Here's Cleo the day after the op. I'd just taken the bandage off her back and she's grooming the bin because she was so itchy. <laughs> so today is Thursday, 13th of August. I am just walking Cleo. Um, I've been for a lesson on Fred, which was really good. Um, it's about half eight, so it's gonna be dark soon. But we are determined to fix the pony. So we're out trekking. And when we get back, I'll do our stretches. Come on. She looks so impressed. Not um, before I head home for dinner. But yeah, like I said, I'm determined to fix her. She's doing really, really well. So we're now a week and a half into the rehab, um, which is just the walk in twice a day at the moment. Wandering around the farm. Thank God we've got these brilliant facilities to take her out in. Um, so she's up and down hills all the time on different ground and makes it less boring, doesn't it, Pony? <laughs> hey guys, so now it's Friday the 14th. It's 10 to six in the morning and we are walking again. Um, just thought I would show you the reality of working full time, having three horses and this one in rehab so i've already mucked out all of the jobs are done i just need to walk her for half an hour and then get the others in from the field and feed them and then go to work <laughs> catch you later going for a walk in the woods in the pouring rain which is nice because it's refreshing and we're not boiling <laughs> as it's the weekend i didn't have to get up so early either beautiful <laughs> In the morning, she gets five or 10 minutes of grass hand grazing just to keep her happy. Um, but obviously I can't do much more because I'm in such a rush every morning. Um, in the evening, it's anything from like 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how quickly I've managed to do the other horses, whether I've ridden um, and if I'm doing anything that evening. <laughs> Got a bit of bed head going on. Good girl. I think this is her favourite part of the walk. So I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog um, and that it was interesting. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments um, and I will answer them for you. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to keep watching Cleo's progress, please subscribe to the channel, uh, give the video a like and yeah, leave any comments. So we will see you again very soon for the next stage of rehab. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye Cleo. Bye guys! <laughs>